Oh, oh goodness, look at all these guys. So we've got two Hellhounds, Solar Motes, and that Fiendish Tempter. Well, we know the Hellhounds aren't terribly threatening. Like, that Flamethrower barely scratched Halley. So I'm going to... Hmm, I'm actually going to put up Aura of Wrath. I want you guys taking lots of damage. I don't know if either Spurs would be worthwhile. Probably not. I really don't trust this thing. Like, if I'm gonna kill anybody first, I think it should be you. Especially since I expect solar modes to get wiped out by tsunamis relatively quickly. That guy's already gone. Yeah, see, they're gone. And he resists that damage, so he's just fine. He's doing A-OK. -okay. But is that the only thing a Hellhound is capable of? Hmm. Oh, let me go there. I'm gonna drink my health potion. Healthy. All right, let's get rid of this one. I guess I could sap the other one. Just because we don't know what it's capable of doesn't mean we have to put up with it. Gale shot. Oh, the second shot missed. Wonder why. Oh, it's probably the trebuchet kicking in. Dark bark. Ha! Ah, so they do have nastier things up their sleeves. What was that status we just got? Demoralized, weak to everything. Okay. And this deals dark damage each turn based on the enemies and magic attack. Alright. Alex took a ton from that. That's a bit concerning. Hum. I guess I could heal him. Is he also weak to healing? There you go, pal. Alright, well, this guy's not gonna last too much longer. I think that should do it. Yeah, he's gone. We're doing a clean 2,000 with that now? Bruh. That's a lot of damage. We are strong. And we have nothing to fear from this one because Jordan can stun it forever. So that Shadow Flame will be all the damage we're taking, and it doesn't look like it's gonna take anybody out. Not before this is over. And we've just got... No, the fire guys are just nothing to us. We are A-OK. -okay. I'm gonna smite, just because I can. I'm not even that strong. Uh, you can just keep doing that. And you can finish him with this, I'm sure. Oh, not quite. Bye, Doge. Good job, everybody. Box. Found some obsidian armor. That sounds very heavy. How's the obsidian armor? Whoa, look at that step boost. Those in glass armor shouldn't throw bricks or something. 25 thief, 25 magic thief. Vulnerable to non-elemental damage. Hmm. Well, that it begs the question, what counts as non-elemental damage? Because, you know... Whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a try. Alright, let's fight this middle battle. The fire elemental. You don't get to move. Yeah. Life's unfair. Should have brought friends. No doubt that will eventually be a battle where there's like a fire elemental and a water elemental together. Like we saw in Skyland Town Land Town. By itself, nothing. It's got nothing, man. Pathetic. Bye bye. God, these like starting wizards are just so busted after a while with that level based damage. Just being able to do a clean 2000 to anything is really brutal. 
Okay, so the power gathers the spot ready. Probably not. These things can be quite tricky. So we've got ourselves a Fanatic of War. Um, Fanatic of War, you say? You look like a physical attacker. How about I just lower your attack? Attack down for you. You... Um... Thing is, if I use the Zenith, I can get, like, more damage out of an Arcane Assault. Now, what does Zenith do? It doubles your magic attack during your next turn. So it's effectively double damage for an attack you can only use once anyway. Alright, yeah, we'll do it. We'll build up to it a bit. It's only really an issue if this guy can target people who aren't taunting. Which you very well might be. That's definitely a mini-boss kind of thing. I don't trust you. Susan Tide. Disabling sweet. Did he miss the one person? <laughs> he did. He missed Alex. <laughs> Super duper nice. Uh, goodness, he really lowered everybody's stats pretty bad. I'm gonna lower your attack again. There you go. Now you're in a zenith. And then next turn, you'll do the big blast. It's just coming. Okay, so. This guy does have a decently chunky health bar. Let's get some thoughts on him. Especially since our damage is greatly reduced. Except for the one guy who it really counts on right now. That was a stroke of extreme luck. You can't really hurt this guy much in your current state. Pretty low damage. Let's go ahead and come bust him. There we go. Supercharged. That's scary. And we press launch a mighty physical attack. Well, I'm glad I lowered your physical attack twice in a row then. Hmm. Let's put up Aura of Protection. Yeah, see, after that, you had just enough for this Arcane Assault. Just hoping it does plenty of damage. Hmm. About half his health bar. Pretty good stuff. I'm gonna make you immune to physicals. There you go. Just in case this does turn out super nasty. Yeah, see, you can go ahead and wild shot, and that gives you. Oh. But your trebuchet let you down. Uh, everyone's in full health. Hmm. But I'll tell you what. If anyone ever struggles to survive attacks, it's usually you, so... Massacre! Owie! He hit everybody really hard. Well, crud. Guess they're not getting experience. Okay, he's not gonna be able to do that every turn. Let's, let's boost our damage and see if we can't finish him off before this becomes a real issue. Wild shot's still your best bet. Please don't miss. Oh, he's gonna do it again? Well, we know Chris can survive at the very least. And it's not like everybody took a whole ton of damage. In fact, Hallie should be just fine. I'm gonna block Jordan. Uh, yeah, that should should keep us alive. Oh, shoot this guy. You might actually kill this guy. Even with your damage heavily reduced. Oh, I guess I could have done that too. Well, whatever. Well fought, but the blade lives on! Oh, there's a round two! Dancing Blade mini-boss. Oh boy, I'm kind of missing Alex now. Hmm, is that a mini-boss? You reckon it's a magic or a physical attacker? <laughs> okay. Um, I guess couldn't have hurt to put some dots on it. This might come right down to the wire with this guy here. 
Oh boy. Is that for shot? Look how its shadow floats with it. Owie! That almost killed me. Oh boy. I don't know if that was physical or special. It's kind of hard to tell. I guess I'll lower its other attack just in case. Chris won't be holding on for too much longer. This is bad. This is ugly business. That's in good shape. Just don't know. Hmm. It's gonna be a while before we can get into Outlast. Uh. To hang on to that feign death in case I need to dodge something specific. Alright, the protector is gone. It's just you, Jordan. It's just you. So is it going to do that attack every turn? Hmm. Good boy. I don't know if I can get through this. It's taking 630. Oh, nope. It defeated Sometimes it's worth equipping a frail character with more defensive gear if they're facing an opponent who can kill them in one strike. Shush. We had that guy on lock until things went terribly wrong. So... Him weakening everybody was a real issue. We didn't... Uh, if we bring a different uh, wizard, we can turn that around at least a little bit. All right, yeah, let's see if we can't do that, because with greater offense, we can get through them a little quicker. And greater offense is what we'll have. And now we know what to expect from this guy, too, so you know what? I'm gonna go over a little wrath. Um... Oh, this only speeds up an ally. This is the one that does everybody. Well... Everyone is kind of who needs it, you know? Uh, I don't know how to handle this. Just do as much damage as you can for now. I wish Easy Prey worked. Uh, I think Soothing Tide might actually be necessary here. He does have attacks to just hit everyone. Constantly. Alright. So what? He does the supercharge next, right? Do I want to start lowering his attack now? I guess we'll have... That actually does put his attack all the way down. You need more time to get your stuff back. I don't want to give Glitz to you. I think I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> Let's get those poisons active. Hmm. I probably should have replaced my ranger with someone better suited to fighting bosses. Boss monsters. There's a supercharge. So I can afford to block somebody. I think I'd better block you. Does that mean Alex is going to be screwed? What was I going to do? Increase somebody's attack and magic attack. Uh, who to go with? You lasted the longest last time, so you know what? I'm going to boost you. be immune to physical damage so you don't die to this. Alright. Good crit. Gale shot. You're guaranteed to survive this. I'm gonna reinforce you and hope you don't die. Yeah, no, couldn't keep him up. That's okay. So we know he's going to just keep uh, 
supercharging him. So the sooner we get rid of him, the better. Is that the most damage you can do to them? I think the fire is still stronger, isn't it? That's 400 massive fire damage to one enemy for 8 MP, or this is 400 water. Yeah, just because he's in a fiery place doesn't mean he's a fiery guy. Um, yeah, let's roast him. We should be able to kill him before he can do that. Oh, he died to the dots. Sweet. Now this guy. Um, I can intervene and defend myself at least once. Because it's just going to keep using that one attack. But I think I should at least... Hmm... I don't know what if it's using physicals or magicals is the thing, it was hard to tell. Mm. I think I'm just gonna not take damage for now. Just waste its turns. Letting it attack. It had moved all the way up to the top of the list. Okay, you. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, see, we're doing a lot more damage. That's much, much more impressive. And Sydney didn't die, so he's still around to help. Alright, so I can't intervene again. I'm gonna trust that it's a physical attack. getting there. I think we'll be okay. 1355. It resisted the fire. Ugh. And he went down too. Alright, well. Wait, we're really close. Like, look how close he is. So if you're resistant to fire, you probably are weak to water. Man, it's rare for the watermancer to finish a fight. And for the paladin not to. Offering to next. And a magma blade. 